Hello guys, in this video I will show you how I created the bat sounds in my cave level. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be very cool, but it's gonna take a while, so sit back, relax, roll a cigarette, get a coffee and enjoy. So, how did it all start? For years now I used this cheap microphone for my headset, and using the oldest trick in a book, just slapping a towel, I can record some nice sounds with that. This is not a professional approach, but for what I was doing it was perfect. Know your tools and know how to use them. So, after putting the file into my project, it sounded something like this. It pretty much sounded like that. Just normal flapping a towel. Well, first step was to speed it up, so I just speed it up. Let's see, I used a 136, yeah, about that. You know, so use that, then we put some effects on it, put some effects on it. So there's some EQ to get only my frequencies that I want. And there's some EQ to remove some resonances. And there's a gate so I can only hear the flaps. You know, without the gate. With the gate. Much cleaner, use a transit designer to kill the attack and use a compressor to just even it out a little bit. So the next step is rendering that and, um, and cutting it into pieces. Okay, works pretty well. And the next step is to put it into the game. So we put it into the game. And the next step is we create a sound cue. So we create a sound cue. But hold on, this has much more bass than the sound cue. You are correct, because there was too much bass. It was brought up to my attention from Reddit that this sound has too much bass. So what we can do is in the sound cue or wherever, we can use a Unreal Engine source effect chain, which in this case is just a high pass filter at around 250 to 60 hertz. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. I will. Um, how do I do this? I do this like that. Okay, so we're just gonna play the sound cue. We're gonna bypass the high pass filter. Okay. Much better. I like that a lot. And then... <clears throat> so we have our first sound cue. Now we have to get the squeaks, the bad squeaks. Okay? How do we do that? Whoops, I did not want the VLC player. Remember our nice sound generator? Our nice uh, space drone? Well, we can use its settings so that the resonance sounds it gets are very, very high. And then we make that mono, we compress it to shit, and we can use reaffer to only get the frequency range that we want, because without it sounds like that. I'm only interested in a very high frequency area. And the next thing we do is we, we render that shit out and we cut it. And after it's cut, it sounds something like this. Sounds okay, but to me it's not, 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 not clean enough, okay? So what we can do is, we can use Isotope RX to edit our files. Because, see, um, this is not a cut-up version, but... See, there's a lot... A lot of dirty noise in there. So what we can do, for example, is... Use the lasso tool here. Uh, invert selection and delete that and then we have this okay it's not still not precise enough for me honestly very nice and we can do that with all the little snippets sorry guys this is not the version I worked with but it was the same principle that I applied 
and you're gonna end up like this. So only the very high frequency content is there now. And then it sounds like that. And especially when you do the before after it, it's pretty clear. So this is the before. And this is after. Yeah, this one's very clear. Very noisy, but here. Very clean. Very clean. Yeah, and then we import it into the game. And we're gonna import it into the game, and we're gonna find out that... It sounds like shit. Because Unreal Engine right now has a problem with importing specific files. It's... Uh, whatever, it's a bug. I reported it. It has to do with high, cre high frequency content in the files. It's struggling with that. So whatever, we're gonna build our sound queue. And every time the sound queue is played, we're gonna have uh, three squeaks playing at the same time using the mixer. It calls the files at the same time, but two squeaks will have a little delay. Okay, these delays. So when this one gets played... God, it sounds so bad. Sorry guys, not my fault. Unreal Engine needs to fix audio. Um, uh, this bug. So... See, there's a little, little rhythm in there, yeah? And the next thing we do is we use, uh, from the video on the water droplets, we use the uh, audio spawner blueprint to spawn the sounds. Okay. Now about attenuation. Uh, where is it? Sound attenuation. There we go. These are the settings. Uh, 50 meters, or what is it? 500 meters? 500 meters fall of distance. Yeah, because it's natural sound curve. It's binaural, obviously. There's some low pass, high pass stuff going on here. I just like to keep sounds dynamic. I mean, 35 meters is not a long distance, but I like to keep the sounds dynamic, uh, changing the color, uh, you know, especially when they're spawned randomly around you. Just a global high pass of 1000, um, just because I like that. Uh, <laughs> oh, right now I'm not too sure how it works together with a source effect, but... Yeah, whatever, we'll figure out later. Some reverb and some uh, occlusion, and obviously our Oculus Rift specialization settings. Sound concurrency-wise, we have 12 voices, um, 12 sound spawning, that's uh, good enough. And actually, it's a bit too much, but it's okay, it's okay, you know? What else is there? What else is there? I think that's it. We talked about sound creation, we talked about uh, editing the stuff, we talked about uh, getting into Unreal Engine, creating the cues, sound attenuation, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that, you know? And then you end up with this. And what's even cooler is when we unmute everything it sounds pretty good all right guys that was the next tutorial. Stay tuned for more stuff from inside the cave.